So first up on the list is these green wave mustards. We had a crazy storm come through, knocked down a lot of these leaves, but that's okay. We was doing what I call green wave mustard savings account. We was saving up these leaves so that we could harvest a lot of them at once and get a lot of them broke down. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God. We got some bolting over here. We're gonna let these do their thing. We're gonna let them do their thing so we can get some more seed off of them, but we're gonna definitely keep harvesting these beautiful leaves off this one over here. We got tons of leaves. I'm talking about tons of leaves to harvest off this one. Green waves for days. Hey, we're just gonna keep it waving, right? Keep it wavy. We just cutting, we cutting greens and greens. When y'all see this bowl of greens, y'all gonna be like, what? 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 Goodness gracious, y'all. Just look at the, oh my gosh. This is, oh. Let's get a close up. Check that out, y'all. Look at that green wave mustard. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm gonna do like broke say, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I love it. These plants have treated me great this year. Whew, that's an understatement. And they just growing and growing. It's like a bush that never ends. Oh my gosh, look at this leaf. Oh my gosh. Look at this leaf. Oh my gosh. Like, when I show y'all this green stack, y'all gotta promise me one thing. Y'all gotta promise me that y'all ain't gonna pass out. Ooh wee. I gotta show y'all something. I gotta show y'all something that's ridiculous. This is off one plant, y'all. <clears throat> this is off of one plant, y'all. Just some perspective of how tall this is. This is off one plant, y'all. God, dog. So check it out, y'all. The garden and all of its wonderful glory. We got a green wave mustard plant that tried to go into bolt and then reverse bolted but now it just got greens coming off the stems and hey we harvested <laughs> we got one over here the one we took off of the leaves of earlier and over here we got some pink mizuna look how healthy and vibrant these plants are just so much lush greenery growing on these plants coming up next we got this purple kale <laughs> it's also called Russian red kale we had a little bit of cold last night, so they're drooping a little bit, but just a little bit. Got some broccoli up in here. These leaves are monsters, y'all. They are monsters, and they got touched by frost last night, so they are going to be nice and sweet. Look back here. We got this giant Chinese green plant. I'm not really exactly sure what that is, but it's not the, but it's not the late Nagasaki cabbage. Then over here, we got the Chihimisai greens. Looking all, looking all good and delicious. We got more green wave mustards over here. Coming up next, we got our oh so beautiful. Look at these oh so beautiful collars. Man, these leaves are, these leaves are enormous, y'all. Leaves are quite enormous. Over here we got some chard, some red and some yellow chard. And we got some, and we got, this beautiful amaranth plant right here. They're not too happy about that frost we just had, but got some beautiful old flowers on it for show. Sure. Coming up next, we got some 
more. I think these might be how the Chihimisai look when they get bigger, but nonetheless, they are juicy and delicious. And then we got a late Nagasaki cabbage right beside it. You know, this might actually just be another late Nagasaki cabbage, but the leaves just look a, bit, a little bit different. Then up in here, we got our, oh, look at that. Up in here, we got our rutabaga, American purple top. She's starting to form her little rutabaga up here. And oh boy, look at these. Goodness, this is a broccoli plant, y'all. Like this is a hulk of a broccoli plant. No, this is cauliflower. This is cauliflower, y'all, and it's coming to a head. It's definitely coming to a head. But when we come up next up here, then, you know, then, hey, look at that, y'all. That's a beautiful broccoli head. She ain't even close to finish yet. We got some over here, too. These beautiful broccoli heads, they trying to hide out and stuff like that, but, you know, we showing them, we showing them. <laughs> then over here, we can get past these amaranth over here. We got our beautiful, beautiful collards. We got more collards coming right up to our pepper patch. So this Sugar Rush Cream Pepper right here, she done. She done for good, she, she definitely done. All right, so next up we got our Berber Brown Chilies, and they are definitely, definitely coming up on a finish here. Let me see if I can get a better color angle. There we go. She turned red and brown. We got more seasoning we're gonna be able to make off these beautiful peppers, y'all. These peppers are my favorite. In fact, these are probably the only variety of pepper that I will grow next season because I love her so, so much. Just look at the beautiful brown hue to it. Got that beautiful chocolatey brown look to it and it's just as delicious as she looks. But over here, we got our purple Mirasaki peppers that are finishing out red. You know, they, they come on the peppers purple and finish out red. And then up in here, up in the thicket, we got our Thai peppers. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. We got whole branches of just beautiful Thai peppers. And they took the frost just well. I mean, we got some branches that broke and stuff like that for whatever reason, but those didn't happen because of the frost. But we looking good over here. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Look at this trash can planter, y'all. I have got to come up in here and harvest this, but <laughs> just like our brother Broke Farm over there, we're gonna be having a wonderful Thanksgiving, y'all. Like we got so many greens, so many greens, just all across the garden, y'all. Just beautiful greens all across the garden. But yep, this is how we looking, coming into our first major cold period of the winter. Today, we're gonna be making some greens powder, but we're gonna be making it using a product that is so epic, so excellent. So stick with us. We're gonna be unloading right now, getting our greens so that we can powder them down. But let's go take a sneak peek at what we got so we can get it all unloaded. So yep, y'all, here we are. I fell asleep, so it's been sitting in here getting cooled and everything. But we're about to go ahead and unload our trays. So our trays are all opened up. Let's see what we got. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. The trays are ice cold, but it's okay. We're gonna take them inside and get them ground up. All right, y'all, so this is what we look like. So we're gonna grind this down and see what we got. All right, y'all, so after it's all said and done, this is what we're left with. Gosh, take a look at that. So this is Green Wave Mustard Powder. This came off of two bunches of Green Wave Mustard straight out of the garden. 